Hi guys, it's me again for another video and yeah, here we go. As of the beginning of the 16th century, the indigenous people of Costa Rica, Costa Rica were divided into tribes of farmers and they had created a sophisticated society but by the 18th of September 1502 Christopher Columbus sighted Costa Rica and by the mid 16th century the Spanish gradually conquered what the rest of Costa Rica and the surrounding areas where it lacked gold and its small population was small and was far less important than other Spanish colonies Furthermore, the indigenous population was devastated by European diseases, to which they had no resistance for. As the first ta Spanish town was Cartago, Cartago, which was founded in 1562. For centuries, Costa Rica remained poor and unimportant and sparsely inhabited. And in 1821, Central America broke away from Spain became independent, although independence meant little to the people of Costa Rica. As Juan Mer Fernandez became the first head of state in 1824. At first Costa Rica was part of a federation with all the previously mentioned Central American states. However, it soon broke up and Costa Rica formally became a separate state in 1838. And then Eighteen twenty. While well, in the early nineteenth century, coffee was grown in Costa Rica, and a class of coffee barons grew up, as coffee brought a new wealth to the country. And in eighteen eighty nine, the first democratic elections were held in Costa Rica, and but and by the twentieth century, Costa Rica was gradually, generally, gradually and generally peaceful. But in 1948, a short civil war was fought along the contested election, as around 2,000 people died in the fighting. However, peace returned in 1949 and a constitution was published as the army of Costa Rica was abolished. As in the late 20th century, Costa Rica did gradually develop, and in 1987, President Oscar Arias Sanchez was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And in 2010, the first female president of Costa Rica was elected in Laura Chinchilla. As of and as of today, it's relatively prosperous and well developed with a welfare system. As ben coffee is still an important export, as is bananas and sugar and beef. And yeah, the population stands upwards of 4.9 million. And yeah, and there's also the legend of the ox cart without the oxen. As Costa Rica was one of the few Spanish colonies where the invaders were in charge of the labour land, and the ox cart was common. Legend coming in Nasara, Costa Rica. Followed were followed was named Pedro. However, due to the cruelty inflicted on the native account of the native people, the the indigenous like, the indigenous people called him El Malo or the evil one. And it was time for Saint Isidro Labrador as a ceremony in which the priest blessed the workers and their oxen carts. Pedro El Malo decided it might be fun to show up and torment the priest and workers by stating that his oxen and carts were blessed by the devil as he attempted to drive his cart through a crowd of people and into church. Fortunately for Pedro, the oxen resisted and despite the repeated lashings of the beast, wanted no part in it. As the priest forgave the oxen, but placed a curse on Pedro and his cart, saying, You'll roam the street with your ox cart for all eternity. And at the moment, the ox broke away and harnessed 
and leaving Pedro standing alone. As the locals kind of say that ever since the day the ox cart of Pedro et Aurel Malo one of the streets of Guana Caste causing fear and panic to anyone who witnesses it. As the tale suggests anyone who sees or hears Pedro cart to call their heads making make the sign of cross and run for it is a sign that the devil is nearby <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, that is Costa Rica for you and yeah, bye for now.